So we're going to take a second look at this script so that we can talk about some of the things we talked about before, mostly in that how the script translates to the screen. In the case of this script, we've got several problems. Let's start with a few days have gone by and no email. So I have to prove this. I have to prove that a few days have gone by. And if you look at the script, we haven't changed locations. We're in the living room. In the next scene, we're in the living room. And in the scene previous, we are in the living room. There we are. So that's problem number one, showing that a few days have gone by. Problem number two is Tim goes through his morning routines. Morning routines are, you know, go brush your teeth and we'll pick up one or two angles of it. Or, uh, but we're going to shoot this in a montage way because the director's never sure exactly how this is going to go together in the end. In fact, pretty often they shoot this uh, with the intention of it being intercut into another scene, which is v extremely difficult to plan. Now, if you remember from what we talked about during the rough cut, the editor has no right to change a line of script or to move a line or to remove a shot or even a camera angle. I have to put in everything. So if you think about it, we have a 10-page script. Each page should translate to roughly a minute. And this scene, which takes up only half a page, is approximately a minute and 20 seconds long. In fact, so it already is 20 seconds fat, which is a third of the scene. And think about that. It, I know it doesn't sound like a big deal to go from a minute 30 to a minute, but that's a third of the shots in this. You know, that's this whole range right here would have to be removed. So on top of that, the only really important information in that was what the news anchor is saying. And for coverage of the news anchor, we've got a little bit of footage, about two shots or three shots. And we've also got this shot of the computer screen showing he's calling his brother, but no one's answering. So when we go from the rough cut to the director's cut, we now have the right to cut this, cut this script down, or cut this scene down, rather. And if you look, I've got one shot of the screen. We've got two shots of the screen. We've got three shots of the screen, we've got four shots of the screen. There are a total of five times we go back to the screen with the sole purpose of integrating just that one clip of what the research shows. Now, I'm going to flip back over to the fine cut. This is the part that we actually agreed upon in the end. I just want to point out that we've cut this down to 27 seconds. 27 seconds. So we lost a ton of actions. However, when we boiled it down, we didn't lose any of the meaning of the scene, which is really the point of going from the rough cut to the director's cut, is to hone um, just the important part. So now I've still got my important research lines, but now I'm only cutting to the screen. There's once, here's two, here's three times, but four and five are cut out. And I think we can all agree that that uh, extra bit is worthless. But how you know what exactly to cut out revolves around our tagline. The tagline is, a young man loses his brother in war and sets out for revenge. So anything that doesn't support that thesis is extraneous. Let's take a look at our scene again and, and talk about this. Tim goes through his morning routine. Does that necessarily tell us anything about uh, him losing his brother or him being set out for revenge? No, it doesn't. This does, though, the part where he checks his email and there's no response. That does actually support our thesis. So does a teenage suicide bomber blew himself up because this is some foreshadowing about our character's ability to get revenge. So let's take a look at some of the items that we have in our rough cut that may not support our thesis. Okay, so Tim's got a towel on. Does that support our thesis? Not really. Tim calls his brother. Does that? Yes. So that should stay. Tim brushes his teeth. No, that doesn't support our thesis. Okay. Tim puts on his shirt. Doesn't support our thesis. Puts on his shirt again. Again, doesn't support our thesis. Now he really puts on his shirt. Before he was like prepping it. Now he's really putting it on. So now that I'm going through, Tim walks away and goes to get a different shirt. That like it really, really, really doesn't support our thesis. So you can see now the mindset of what I'm going through when I'm chopping this down. 